think I can officially say that going from one to two kids has been easier for me than zero to one. I just put her in a big bow and she looks like a different baby. <laughs> Eric has been engulfed in March Madness today. So far, she is doing great on her first time grocery shopping. Breastfeeding is going so much better. Hi. <laughs> You're cute. Good morning. <laughs> Eric just made us protein pancakes. Perks of the weekend, Eric's here and he can make breakfast. Also, all of your dishes match you this morning. And how cute are these pajamas? I got them from Amazon, they're in my storefront, but I love them so much. And your bow even matches today. Usually in the mornings, her bow doesn't match whatsoever. You ready to get down? Yes? Okay. <laughs> I just took a shower, obviously, and I'm about, I just ate my protein pancakes too. So I'm about to do all these dishes that we didn't do last night. You gonna smile for mommy? Hi. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> we are getting ready to go to the grocery store now and I'm trying to get ready and I'm in that like awkward stage where my maternity jeans don't fit me anymore. Like they're too big, but my regular jeans don't fit me yet. What do I wear? I literally don't know what to wear. I just put on my maternity jeans and like tried really hard to convince myself that they didn't look huge and baggy. I've tried them on a few times since having Bria and they still don't fit. So I really don't know what to do. I literally just dug these out of the hamper. These are my maternity jeans that I wore the most and they're the smallest so they still fit me the best. I think I'm just gonna have to break down and buy some new jeans in a bigger size than my like regular size because who knows when I'm gonna fit into my old ones again. I really don't wanna be wearing maternity jeans for the next six months. So I forgot until I was getting dressed just now that I only shaved one leg this morning in the shower. I really wanna blame it on like being a busy mom, but I really just took too long in the shower and ran out, ran out of hot water. And I only have one leg shaved. <laughs> and it wouldn't matter except these jeans are like actually pretty short. So you can tell. I don't think anyone will notice, but it's just funny. If you saw my bedroom makeover video, we are still trying to decide on this headboard. We took it back down and we took the picture back down because if we end up getting another one, we'll probably need to rehang the picture at like a different height. I just posted that video yesterday, so if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it because we did a board and batten wall on the back wall of our bedroom and I love it so much. We also still haven't moved Bria's pack and play back to the corner. It's like pretty convenient having it here because then the nightstand can be where it normally is. But the inconvenient part is that literally like 10 times in the night I have to get up and crawl to the end of the bed to put her passy back in when I used to be able to just like reach over and stick it in her mouth. But it's usually like in the morning when she's waking up and I wanted to go back to sleep a little longer before I could just like stick her passy in because she'd be next to me but now it's like pointless because I have to literally crawl to the end of the bed. This morning I think I crawled down here like probably seven times. I should have just woken up but I wanted her to stay sleeping a little bit longer so I could sleep a little longer and it works when I put her passy in she, she goes back to sleep for a while but it's a lot harder to put it back in when I'm like crawling to the end of the bed a bunch of times. Eric has been engulfed in March Madness today. Who are you going for? Who do you want to win the whole thing? Duke. And I'm not a Duke fan at all, but it's Coach K's last year, so oh. it'd be nice to see him go out with a win. You guys should comment below and say who you want to win. Also, comment below and say if you don't care at all who wins, because same. <laughs> no offense, but... I'm getting Quinn to enjoy basketball, so I have someone to watch it with. She literally gets so excited when Eric turns it on. I think it's just because he's turning the TV on. But she does, like, stand here and watch it with him, which is cute. Ready to go get dressed? No, let's go pick out your clothes for the store. So we had some 
really nice weather. Oh, we made it. She needed a little motivation to come get ready. <laughs> what do you want to wear? We had some really nice warm days that were like 70 degrees and it was such a tease because now it's back in the 30s. Guys, I love these pajamas. Whoa. I love these pajamas so much on her. You want to take it off? Yes. Yes, I'll take it off. I'm thinking about making a video that is like my favorite Amazon baby clothes because ever since she's been a baby, I have found like so many cute things on Amazon and I feel like most of them I just found searching. Like these I just found searching and I've actually seen a lot of other people share them recently in other colors and stuff. So apparently they must be popular, but... I feel like I just have so many cute clothes for her that are from Amazon. We will get a new bow. Yes. Okay, ready? We're gonna get you dressed. Boom. All ready. Except we have to do your hair. What is with this tripod? Literally will not stand up. Wasn't even planning to say this, but I just happened to put her in something else from Amazon that I love, which is these little like knit leggings. We have them in a bunch of colors and they're from Amazon and they're perfect. She's short, so they look like super bunched up on her right now, but once she has them on for a while, usually all the bunched up part just ends up up here and you can't even see it. Okay, ready to do your hair? No. No? Okay. Bow on. Yeah, let's get your bow on. Okay, let's go get dad. Come here. Come get your shoes on. I love you. Shoes, also from Amazon. Now I'm just spoiling it all when I should just make the video and show everything at once. Your hair. Messy. Is your hair messy? Clean. Oh, it's clean? Okay, let's go to the store. <laughs> What's so funny? Are you laughing? Are you laughing? Woof, woof, car. You're laughing in the car? <laughs> I don't think I've even shown this. Eric bought me a nice coat for Valentine's Day this year because None of my other coats fit me anymore and I've needed a new like nice winter coat for a long time. And I was thinking I might not get to wear it that much since it was already like, well, I was gonna say winter was almost done, but definitely not because it's about to be April. You wanna hold my hand? <laughs> we just finished up at Aldi and now we're at Meyer. I didn't vlog anything in Aldi because it was our first time going in a grocery store as a family of four. It went totally fine, but it was busy in there, like kind of crowded. So do you want to show them what you got? Eric saw a commercial. While, while watching um, the basketball tournament today, they had a commercial for, for Oreos. As soon as he saw them, he knew he was getting them. This is what I got. Quinoa chocolate hazelnut bites. They're pretty good, but I wish there was way more quinoa so that it tasted like a crunch bar. Cause like, it's kind of just squishy, but they're okay. Anyway, we only have a couple things we need to get in Meyer. Look who we ran into at the grocery store. Hi. <laughs> Quinn's, the whole store hi Quinn. Just heard you. I, I did, Whatever. I yelled hi. Quinn she's is being very so shy. shy. She doesn't want to look at us. She's it's like her favorite people and she's just <laughs> turning around. She's smiling the whole time though. <laughs> I don't need to do anything because it's recording, right? Strikes. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Quinny, smile! Getting some dog food for Ace. We're almost done with the grocery trip. So far, she is doing great on her first time grocery shopping. Good morning. Today, it is just me and little Bria baby at the house and Ace. I dropped off Quinn at my parents' earlier. It's actually like 1.45 right now. I dropped Quinn off around 9, I think. I'm about to fold this whole basket of laundry, and I think I'll do a little update on how having two kids has really been while I'm folding the laundry, because I did put up my day in the life with a newborn and toddler. If you haven't seen that, you guys actually seem to really, really like that video, so I'm definitely going to film some more of those soon. So that kind of showed what our days have been like, but I haven't really like talked about how it's been so far having a baby and a toddler or i did but it was like right at the beginning after she was born hi ace 
I gave Bria a bath a little bit ago, so she's all clean. She's wearing the cutest little onesie too. I got it on clearance at Old Navy for like a couple dollars and I was gonna get it for her because it's like dark green. I don't know if you can even tell, but I've always heard that green looks really good on redheads. And then I was like, mm, I don't know if I love it. I hung it back on the rack and I wasn't gonna get it. And then as I moved down and I was looking at Quinn size, they had a matching shirt in that pattern in Quinn size. So I was like, okay, now I have to get them. So they actually have that outfit in matching, but they haven't matched with it yet. Ace has to steal the spotlight, of course. You need a hug? Ace has been a good big brother. Okay, I am going to fold this laundry and then I just wanted to tell you guys that I think I can officially say that going from one to two kids has been easier for me than zero to one. That's really surprising even to me because some of you might remember that before Bria was born, I was literally saying that I was like super, super worried about having two kids, especially two under two. And I really hope that I didn't put fear in anyone else by saying that because so many of you have commented and said that you were also pregnant when I was pregnant with Bria and that like a lot of you, it was your second baby too. And so many of you even said that you were pregnant at the same time I was pregnant with Quinn. And then you were also pregnant when I was pregnant with Bria, which that's so fun. And a lot of you were saying that you were also worried about it. And for the same reasons that I was, which my reasons were that I had just seen so many people online saying that when they had their second baby, it was the hardest thing ever and like the hardest days of their life. And they were just struggling so much and in no way has it been easy, but it has honestly been so much better than I thought it would be. And for me, going to one, going from one to two has been easier than it was zero to one. That might partly be because of the way that Quinn's birth was. And I don't always wanna bring that up and put that into like every situation. But honestly, when I think about it, now that I've experienced a regular birth and like the way that things are supposed to go, it's made me realize how, like exactly how not regular everything was with Quinn. And I knew it wasn't, but until experiencing like a regular birth on my own, it just, I just didn't even realize how much better things could have been. So obviously breastfeeding has been the hardest part of anything, but other than that, like the hardest moments are just when both of them need me at the same time. And I heard tons of moms say that when I was like watching other people who were going from one to two. I feel like that was the most common thing that people said. So I kind of expected that like the hardest times are just when they both need me, which for Quinn, she always wants me right when I have to feed Bria, like on purpose because she knows I'm about to feed her and that she's not gonna be getting as much attention right then. So that's when it's hard and when I feel bad. But anyway, that's kind of the update that I'll give, I guess. I hope that any of you that are also going from one to two babies, I just hope this is encouragement to you because I definitely needed that. And I remember after I saw like all those people saying that it was the hardest thing ever for them going from one to two, there was one girl that I followed that said that going from one to two was easier for her and literally just seeing her say those words gave me so much encouragement before Bria was born because I had so much stress about it. And obviously it wasn't like I wasn't ready to be pregnant and have a baby. Like we kind of, we planned for it to happen and we wanted, we were ready for a second baby, but like obviously fear and worry is gonna come along with it too, whether it's planned or not. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little update. I just, I've been meaning to say that because ever since I like have realized that one to two has been easier for me, I've just felt really bad, like hoping that I didn't put fear in anyone else the way that other people did in me online by saying that it was like, honestly making it sound terrible. <laughs> and it hasn't been, it's been amazing and I've loved it. So I'm gonna finish folding this clothes and then Bria will probably want to get out of her swing because she's been sleeping in there since she took her bath. I'm pretty sure these tights look ridiculous. First of all, because they're way too big for her, but literally all of her regular onesies with legs were dirty. And now I have some clean ones in the pile, but like when I was giving her her bath, those were all in the dryer. So 
this is what we went with. I really need to go through her clothes and get, or like Quinn's old clothes and get out all of the, I guess it's like three month clothes. I don't even know what size. Like a lot of her clothes that she, or most of the clothes she's in now is zero to three months. And I feel like I don't have enough, but I think as soon as I get out anything more, she's gonna be in the next size. So I don't know. So I can officially hold her and carry her like this like a bigger baby. It makes things so much easier, so much more convenient, but I also can't even believe that she's already this big. How? How is my little tiny baby already so big? It's almost time to take her picture in front of this wall again, which I'm actually really excited to do because I love how the last ones turned out. Still, I just can't believe she's this big already. You're gonna be three months soon. Okay, I am very hungry, so I'm about to make Green Chef, and ever since I switched our meal plan to the vegetarian meal plan, I have loved the meals even more. I liked them before when we did Balanced Living and got like a mix of all the different meal plans, but I've just like loved the meals extra since doing vegetarian. This is the one I'm gonna make right now, zucchini and ricotta flatbreads. I haven't had this one from them yet. They had a different flatbread recipe that I made one time and it was super good. It was like barbecue flatbreads. So I'm assuming I will really like this one. I've also had these protein tacos. These are amazing. I love the sauce that goes on them. And then I've never had this one either. It looks really good too though. So I'm excited to make all of these, but I think I'm gonna do this one right now. Green Chef makes it so easy for you because all of the ingredients are perfectly portioned. So there's no waste of food, which is amazing. And they're mostly prepped except for things like I'll need to chop the onion. Like sometimes you need to wash and prep some of the vegetables and stuff, like the fresh things, but they're still the right proportion. So you don't like have too much of them, even if you do need to prep them. I always like to show the recipe card because I think they're so fun. The pictures are so pretty and they just like always make me excited to cook the meal. And also for people that feel like they're not the greatest at cooking, they make the instructions super easy and show like step by step what to do with pictures of what you're doing. I don't feel like I'm necessarily not good at cooking, but it's still like helpful to have all these steps just like very simply typed out on here for a recipe that you've never made before. I just cooked the zucchini and onion in this pan and now I'm going to put it on top of the flatbreads. My eyes are burning from cutting the onion, but what's new? I did want to tell you guys that Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company. They have meals for a whole variety of lifestyles. They have vegan, vegetarian, keto and paleo, gluten-free, fast and fit, and also Mediterranean. So literally so many options. The flatbreads are starting to come together. So I'm about to put the vegetables on here and then the rest of the toppings and put them back in the oven. I just baked the flatbreads for a couple minutes to get them toasty, then spread the ricotta cheese mixture on top. I cannot wait to eat this. Also, I may or may not have started eating the salad on the side while these were cooking because this just looked so good too. It's the Brussels sprouts and walnut salad and it has Caesar dressing, which is like one of my all time favorites ever. If any of you would like to try Green Chef, I'm gonna put a link in my description and you can use my code CaraJane130. That'll give you $130 off. Plus you'll get free shipping on your first box. So don't forget to check that out if you would like some super good food. She just looked way too cute right now. So I put her in this snuggle me to take some pictures. Bows are so cute, but I just hate covering up her hair. I just put her in a big bow and she looks like a different baby. It is so cute. Are you the cutest? I just cannot bring myself to cover her hair up. Okay, I think I'm actually going to end this video, but before I do, I wanted to give one more update, and that is that breastfeeding is going so much better as of right now. I'm scared to even say that because I feel like tomorrow it'll be awful again, but it's definitely going better. Like I can 100% say that it's going better than like the other updates I've given about it. And I just like didn't even want to give any more updates until it was actually going better. And it is like, I'm so glad that we've stuck it out. I might go into more detail about it all in another video soon because originally I had said that I wasn't going to share 
much about it, just like what struggles we were having and what we were doing and stuff. I was just basically saying like we're struggling really bad. But since things are going a lot better now and I'm like confident in the things that we were doing to help them get better, I feel better about sharing them, if that makes any sense. Basically, I didn't want to share things before that we were doing or trying to do to help her and then they don't even work and then people online are like, you did the wrong thing, blah, blah, blah. You know how people can be sometimes. So now that I think that things that we did worked, I might share it in a video soon. And also just because I know so many other people struggle with breastfeeding. So if I can be of any help with my own experience to someone, I want to be. I just have so much more confidence now that everything's gonna work out and I don't completely dread her feedings now. They still take a long time, but I'm giving too many details now. Just let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a breastfeeding update in another video because I feel like so many people, when I talked about it before, said that they were having the same struggles or they had the same struggles or like asking for tips on what we were trying because you were going through the same things. You are always more than welcome to message me on Instagram if you have questions too and I can try to get back to you. I think that's gonna be everything that I put in this video. I'm gonna need to go pick up Quinn pretty soon. My mom has been watching Quinn like half a day once a week the last couple weeks just so I can get some things done here. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click the link in the description if you wanna try Green Chef and get $130 off and I think that's everything. I will see you guys in a few days with another video. I already have it like mostly filmed actually. So it looks like she's waving. Are you waving? Are you waving? Bye.